Hello everyone, we're in another video of Monkey TV, and there's a new villain which I already have in my inventory. Oh boy, I take a moment. There's a new enchant which you can use sapphires for, so I'm just gonna get one on the villain real quick. 10% more damage, damage too, nice. There is a new summon shop and index, a giant monkey and a golden playroom, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna check out the jungle map first. Is that a marketplace or is it just a oh, dog? It's just for the appearance. And the banana houses, the whole lobby got a revamp, it looks super cool. And five tower slots, that is great because I always used to struggle with only, with only five. There was an old monkey there, a radio playing the music, which you're not gonna hear. And let, let's just hop into a game. So now we're in a game, there used to be like a statue of like the summoner here. Hey, we're gonna pick hard mode. It doesn't look like there's been any changes to all that, which is sad. But we're just gonna wait a sec for the intermission. Place down our grenade, or, and then yeah, let's go. So now I'm just gonna place my farms. Wait, why, why did they produce less money now? And there's animations. That's great. Wait, why can I upgrade it? Has it been a nerf? Yeah, it's been nerfed. Wow. That's sad, man. RIP business monkey, I guess. Oh, you could only place free. Oh, that's actually horrible. I don't like that. But anyway, just upgrade that. Oh, I still, I'm stuck on double bubble. Business monkey change. Oh, that sucks. Oh, wait, there's another upgrade. Oh, wait, that's just the feel on the one. That's also been... Oh, the ball for you, I mean. Oh, that sucks. Oh, let's just max out our... Grenada. Just knock this in on everything. Oh, man, that sucks, though. Well, I'm just gonna keep on keeping farming here. And why is it so expensive as well? That sucks, man. I hope I hope the villain's good. A hundred like one Robux. <laughs> Wait, there's another upgrade. Six, sixteen thousand. We'll do a little tour there. There there's no way I'm gonna be able to afford that in a hard game. It must be used for like endless or nightmare. And we're gonna place the villain here. Oh, he looks cool. Well, he's cheap as well. He does a lot of DPS there. Oh, he looks cool now with a purple energy and stuff. 715 DPS. Wow. Oh, he looks sick. That's kind of cool. Oh, he doesn't have that big of range though, let's break it though. Wait, is he doing AoE? He does AoE. Wait, this might be the best unit in the entire game. I'm not gonna lie. This actually might be the best unit. It's doing AoE. That could solo everything. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Over like 800 DPS splash though. Crazy. Well, I guess it's balanced because of like the range. Bro, I'm just turning into a banana. Boom, what? Musician. I thought he was gonna buff, not like do damage. Anyway, the real thing is, how many villains can you please? We'll see that in a bit. Michael Saxophone, oh my god, bro. The boat is so good. Full. Hey, we go. Four. Place our data. How many can you place of these villains? Three. That's not bad. That is not bad. Run! Look how quick they killed up. The boss man. So insane. It's crazy. Yep. New best tower, bro. New best tower. 
So after that game we can see some changes in the gameplay. More tower slots and new summon shop which plus the Volta in next video and new UI on the right, the bananas and the sapphires and the fisher and maybe a tea and then the coca and a monkey and breeze or banana houses remind me of um, SpongeBob actually. Of course the enchantment of the, um, the index that's pretty cool egg monkey golden pirate giant monkey and I think the game is going really well. Thanks for watching. Bye.